lot of y'all still sleep. Now I need to get up and do my toast because these days I try to always get up this time. Um, so I try to keep the Monday through. <sighs> I try to think, keep the mojo through Nia date and time together. Weekends, I'm free. So, I had to get that to adjust the camera. Alright, so, I am on day eight. Uh, I'm doing good. Uh, so, knocked out day seven. I've just Wow. I'm done. Two more to go. Alright, let's get started. And I just want to say great emoji to everybody out there. I keep this this time during this time because it's, if I don't if I don't keep the system, if I don't keep the pattern for at least these five days, I'm going to fall off. So I gotta keep the pattern for these five days. So today, since since we did our little reading about the spring water, we are going to be experimenting with the 1907 New Zealand New Zealand New Zealand water artesian pH balance between 7.1 and 8.2. Um, artesian water naturally alkaline. Now. It's considered spring water because you know, when I looked up artesian, I thought it had something to do with an art artist. But no, artesian basically is like uh, the way they cut into the rock. And the water rises on its own so that you don't have to pump it out. So it's basically a spring without springing out the earth. You, It just comes to you in a sense. So... 1907 water on fire naturally high alkaline water from 680 feet deep a protected confined aquifer soft smooth taste carbon dated at 50,000 years old bottle at the store at the source pay 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 New Zealand so this water is supposed to be 50,000 years old let's see what's in this water here Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, they got sodium. I don't see nothing else. All right. Okay. Eight fluid ounces is one serving. Serving per container, approximately four. TES, 100 ppm. All right. What's up, Brother Kwame? I wanted to make sure I was here for y'all this morning. I didn't bring them out yet. We're about to bring them out. Peace, peace, peace. And peace to uh, Sister Sheila. Um, so, let's go on and bring them out. Y'all see I ain't got the big bottle today. What I wanted to do was I wanted to experiment with that root beer. The only thing I'm missing is the sarsaparilla. I am going to find some sarsaparilla root and in the next few batches, I'm going to make a pure root beer. I was just looking at the name root beer, and it never occurred to me that it's called root beer because it's supposed to be made out of roots. Right? And when you look at the power of the roots, because I want y'all to think about this. Dandelion is a root. Uh, dandelion. Burdock, uh, turmeric, ginger, I mean, ev just those four, then sarsaparilla. Now, we know dandelion helps clean the liver, clean the blood, purifies the blood, and a whole bunch of other stuff. We know, um, oh, what is it called? Uh, I'll come back to it. We know um, ginger helps stimulate blood flow. Helps you sweat, right? Helps helps clean out certain parts of the body. We know turmeric 
not only helps clean out the body, but it helps remove parasites. Sarsaparilla helps you sweat. You know what I'm saying? It, help, it promotes the sweat and some other cleansing shit. Then burdock, good God of might. So now, I have an opportunity to make a super, super duper root beer. Real root beer. You know, I'm going to do that shit. I ain't, got, I ain't got nothing to lose. You know what I'm saying? So right now, I want to see how it's going to carbonate. So this is just the turmeric. I'm going to add cinnamon. Turmeric, cin cinnamon, and ginger root. We're going to see how it's going to sit. I want to see if I can put my stuff up. I need to. Uh, I'm trying to get the system together where I can figure this out. All right, yep, 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 I can put it up. Because uh, my man, hold on, let me turn the volume down. I want to post this up. Uh-oh, what's up, Sean King? Brother Hazen, how you doing? Well, I'm just going to speak it, man. Check it out. Gum.co and Guza Saba Challenge. Gum.co, G-N-J Update. And for those that want to support the journey so the journey can support you, Gum, like, like you chew gum.co forward slash that ambrosia. All right? Now, we're going to do our water first, but first we got to bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. All right, so now we're about to toast our answers, but of course we got to drink our water. Let's get hydrated, fam. So last night I took a bath. Y'all know I'm a Pisces and I be having visions in the tub. In the water. I need to, I guess I need to really just eventually pack up and move around some water. But another book came to me last night. I'm like, damn. I'm like, ah. I'm excited. All right, so we're going to try this water that's been carbon dated to be not 50,000 years old from New Zealand. You know what I'm saying? New Zealand, the artesian spring well. So let's go and try it. Well, damn, that was smooth. Let's get another hit of that. Hmm. Didn't expect it to hit me like that, fam. Shit. Felt good in the mouth. Got a good feel. Not a strong mineral taste type thing. Hmm. Man, that's some nice water. I wonder if I can make some ambrosia out of this. See, I won't use the spring water though. Alright, so. I guess that's that point nine. 1.9 actually. Alright fam, drink that water, allow that ice shake to move in you, feel that energy. So, alright, this one gets a thumb up, thumbs up. Remember when you open your bottles, you got to always have a cup to assist you. Just in case for the overflow. What does it mean that the HTO, H2O doesn't have a mineral taste? Thought it was supposed to have it. 
What does it mean that ACO doesn't have a mineral taste? Though, so, well, I'm just telling you, man, it was it was smooth. And you know, like some spring waters can be just a little bit. I guess I from black black folks term a little bit oppressive. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> can have just a little bit too much mineral taste. I got a few over here that I think that I'm gonna be trying that I'm sure are gonna have just a little bit, you know, they try to be a little bit too minerally and they claim to be spring water, but they probably really um tap water that they added some sodium to or something to, you know, just we gonna throw a little salt in here to fool you. You know what I'm saying? Like well water, yeah. It's kind of oppressive. You know what I'm saying? It's like you it is you could taste the you get in, in some some well water and some even some spring water. When you first get it out the spring, you could taste and smell something on it, right? So that water was smooth, man. Like the Avion, like the Avion, Avion, I tasted. I tasted something in it. I tasted, I don't know exactly what it was, but I could taste slight mineral in it. Not that it was super bad, but that one was smooth. That was like the uh the black, the the one I had the other day from Iceland. That that shit was smooth, you know. Alright, so I'm gonna open it. I got a green top on this. On this root beer right now because I didn't have any brown tops. I'm going the root beer will be the brown tops, but I am coming out with root beer. I just gotta get me some sarsaparilla root. I might even throw some ginseng in there, but I'm just I'm just thinking now. I'm just thinking. Alright, I just bottled it up last night. Oh, that was anticlimactic. Didn't even go off, man. I'm kind of pissed off. Should have put it in the refrigerator or something. Let's see how it pours. That is whack. Mind you, I have had this speaking in defense of my work. I've had this sitting for almost a month. I ain't been no month. Alright, this some you old. This some old ambrosia. You old. I wonder if the sarsaparilla will make it a little bit browner. You can see some of the light floating around in it. My fault. Got too excited. Alright. Ah. <sighs> First call on the creator by whatever name you choose to call that creator. We call the creator into our presence. We call that energy, even though it's everywhere. We know it's all around us, but we still must call on it, right? Action follows the word, right? We spoke, we speak the word, and things start to happen. So some of us, some of us, some of us who have been doing what we've supposed to be doing, who've been lifting up our ancestors, we have been noticing the creator's actions in our lives on a daily basis. So we salute that creator and we say, Ashe. From there, we move to our personal ancestors. We toast our personal ancestors, right? We lift them up. We remember them. Um, um, we, we, we call on, on their names and we ask them to be present with us. We ask them to walk through life with us. We ask them to dispense their wisdom to us through our intuition um which is how in a sense they you know what i'm saying we could communicate sometime through that intuition and we're gonna that's part of what the book is about it's gonna be a real short ebook real short you know what i'm saying but the point is that i'm gonna be able to get the idea across but we want to salute those ancestors we've been saluting them on a daily basis those others that that has been saluting our personal ancestors on a daily basis we notice their presence in our lives we see things happening now. So, we toast our personal ancestors. Now, I got to start the day off by toasting Barbara Twiggs. Now, I've been doing this almost since the beginning of the year. And I am hurt and almost broke down yesterday because I was driving in my car after dropping my son off over my mom's house because he about to take a trip. And I 
thought about my Aunt Barbara and I said, I haven't toasted her one time. So right now, I lift up my glass to my Aunt Barbara. My Aunt Barbara used to let me come over her house every weekend and chill with her and her kids and my big cousins. You know what I'm saying? So I got to remember my Aunt Barbara Twigs. I toast her and I lift her up and I, and I thank her for being present in my life and showing me and making me feel loved and in 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 um um in a in a rough time in my life, right? Um, allow me to to run around the corner and to hide at her house. You know what I'm saying? Sometime weekends on the end. You know what I'm saying? So, shouts out to my aunt Barbara. So Miles Brown, Miss Ann, Robert the Texas, Anna Davidson, Brown, Senior Rosalie, Tilly, Georgia, when you walk to Crystal Fanny Gatson. Chris and Fanny Gasson, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris. Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, Alvira Brown, Barbara Twiggs, my Aunt Gina Gaines, Cecil Ellis, Margaret Ellis, Wash Ellis, Wash Ellis Jr. Jamon Jones, John Fillard, Jeremiah Tappan, Montague Pittman Air, Pastor Yusef Weston, Tony Clark, Elder Harrison, Elder Donaldson, Elder Farmer, Dr. Marianne Williams, Tony Clark. Toast to all our ancestors. Any names? I ain't see no names, so I'm gonna keep it moving. So we lift up our glass and we say, I say. From there we move to our children, our children's children on to affinity because we are responsible for them and we need to be building. We need to be serious. Last night I posted up on my um G and J update. You gotta self build before you can nation build. A lot of us is trying to do building, but we ain't self-building. I, I myself am guilty, am guilty, so I'm working on that now. You know what I'm saying? So there is no nation if there's no self. You know what I'm saying? So we got to really, really start working on ourselves. That life care, man, man, that's going to be in the book, man. That's going to be in the book, life care, right? So, um... So we toast our children, our children's children, on to infinity. Last but not least, I toast you. I lift you up. All right? And ancestors go before you. Make the road smooth. Knock down the obstacles. Now all the way. Leave enough for you to go on and kick the head off. Right? But, you know, kind of cripple that. Kind of cripple the, 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 the competition. Kind of cripple the beast for you. You know what I'm saying? We want the answers to soften them up for you so when you come in and start throwing the blows, you can knock them out, right? So we toast and we say, I say, I say, I say, I wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years. The root beer is going to work. I just have to bottle it earlier. Keep just a little bit of sweetness in it. I think the sarsaparilla will make it just a little bit browner. And I think that this will be a major tool. Because the taste is going to be... After you throw the sarsaparilla in there, it's going to taste like regular root beer. And this might be a major tool... And helping fight all diseases formed within the gut, within our community, within our tribe. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We can say hey, the, the rest of the world could benefit after my fam benefits. You understand what I'm saying? Now, I'm, I'm offering it to my fam, family and friends first. You know what I'm saying? But y'all got to understand. Bro's just getting out there. Right? So y'all need to, you know, to... The orders, you know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all still get private private mixes. 
life, health, and power, and one love. That's right, bro. Man. So, I think either, I, I don't know if I'm going to do my next show right now. I think I might go to sleep for a little while. Um, but I did my, my breathing. I did my movement. I did my liquid. I'm fasting, so shit. I don't know. I'm day eight. I'm kind of jittery. I'm jittery. I don't understand. Thank you, Miss Sheila, for sharing. All right, so, um, but yeah, well, yeah, we got a winner here. We got a winner here. This now, this this is not ready. I got some more bottles in there, and we're gonna let it sit for a couple of days. We're gonna do this while while I'm going through this phase where I can only do. Right now, for those that don't know, on the fast, I only can do water and ambrosia. Water and ambrosia. Love my ambrosia, but damn. Yeah, you got a winner. A little bit more honey. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, we're gonna be able to you're gonna be able to deal with A and W. Alright, so now I'm not gonna be labeled a point, but today is a moja. Today is a moja. Of course, those that's out there know unity. The uh, modic principle is truth. Uh the hermetic law is mentalism. The male name is Quojo. Female name is Adwo color is violet so I wish everybody a great emoji and I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for tomorrow you know what I'm saying I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for tomorrow cause y'all know what tomorrow is right y'all know what tomorrow is right other than Coogee Chagalia right cause I could just ignore the whole goddamn thing right but I don't know man depends on how I feel all right, so I'm going to wish y'all a great morning and a great day. And I'm going to get up off of here. And I think I'm going to go on into my next episode. I think today, I need to talk about, I need to talk about that fluoride. Just a little bit. I'm going to, I have to do a little research on it, but we need to talk about fluoride, right? Because it's so prevalent around us, other than sugar. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's nothing more prevalent than sugar. You have a fabulous day, too.